Once upon a time, back in the early 2009, there were lots of movies were meant for kids. And ones I'm talking about today, that's finally 10 years old, to celebrate this 10th anniversary, is 9. I do have the English dub or movie of this somewhere. But I had to do this real quick with better higher quality on this YouTube channel. This is on the Korean language. The story's about our main hero nine that's created by the doctor or who died. And he stands there confused. Also he's voiced by Elijah Wood. And once he opens those windows, there's Apocalypse. A bunch of, of dangerous creatures and monsters. There's and he sees other rank dog creatures just like him. Well, unfortunately, one of them, um, the them did not make it that well. This movie came out 10 years ago. The basic story is them trying to survive and look out for each other. Including the leader, or the hat. And was voiced by Christopher Plummer being his last role in this movie. To make sure this review won't be going on so long. Um, um, it's them trying to survive the apocalypse of dangerous monsters trying to go after them. Also there's a pilot that's really short. No talking, but absolute silence. This movie wasn't meant for kids. It's a really need to be serious and has darker turns to it. And horrifying creatures done by Tim Burton himself. Up to do a short pilot and then we get to a full length movie. This movie is only like an hour and ten minutes long. The characters are pretty cool including the female one you see that defeated the monster. And the device sucks, sucks all living souls out of them. Uh, to make the giant evil machine rise. It's the humanity that built the thing to do some good, but turns out evil. So it's up to our heroes to stop the menacing machine from destroying in their lives. Most of these characters are a bit interesting to look at, and including Nine being the heroic one and being kind to others. Also explains the backstory about the warfare and the crater there who's done them all. All humanity was wiped out, so they're the only living creatures on Earth. So they have to work together and save the world. Uh, 
and they had to fight these monsters one at a time. And things get very serious. Sure, they'll stand around talking to each other and trying to figure out the problem. Um, this movie is really animated to be downright creepy and terrifying. Also, this guy looks like Oogie Boogie, by the way. And these rag dolls have numbers on them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They have different abilities. I would say the characters' names, but it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. I would try to check out Wikipedia which one of the characters are. I've seen the numbers on their back signs. I don't want to do too much spoiling to the scenes of this movie. But if you haven't seen this movie yet, it, it's totally worth your time. So I'll just cut to the chase. Yes, they do use the device to the, defeat the monster once and for all and release. These are white dolls from being trapped inside and send them straight to heaven. This movie was planned to have a sequel, but that never happens. They do pull out that device that trapped them inside. Because the numbers on them. 8, 2, <coughs> 8, 6. Five, two. And number one is the leader. I find this movie very fascinatingly dark in a good way. And that was nine. This movie was pretty much effectively terrifyingly disturbing. If you want to see this movie, you can check on Kim Cartoon or his cartoon online. This movie is like an award for it. Acceptable. It does have famous celebrity actors in it, which you can see in the credits. It really, really quite the most best movie out there from the early 2009 movie. And I'm glad I had to talk about this movie that came out 10 years ago, so... Oh, happy 10th anniversary! A 9 deserves to be reviewed by me. <laughs> Eli. <laughs> if you want to see the entirety of this movie, it's 
probably work on Blu-ray and DVD. Yeah, if it's twenty or ten dollars on eBay account. Um, or amazing merchandises of toys of them. So if you enjoyed Eat this review about me talking about the movie nine, then you're pretty much in luck to enjoy this movie. It has lots of extras, deleted scenes, lots of amazing stuff in the pilot short. So hopefully you might enjoy this movie as much as I did. So I give this movie a 10 out of 10 of the greatest, best, best animated film of all time from its huge success by Tim Burton that did successful films from the 70s, 80s, and 90s of his greatest works. So he deserves a round of, round of surprise, a big hat, a clapping sound. That's me clapping while I hold on to this tablet camera. Alright, thanks for listening. And I'll see you guys in the next review when I talk about another interesting movie that deserves to be a 10th anniversary. That's all, folks!